been going on a bit of a deep dive um or not a deep dive I've, I've got a kind of a guilty pleasure these days where i watch videos of low cows right and low cows are essentially um men and women who are derided especially mostly men and mostly men and women streamers online who are derided by a huge amount of people because you know they do really stupid things and seem to continually mess up but always seem to land on their feet and i guess you know by nature we like to laugh at people when they fuck up so people get really um a lot of joy out of seeing these guys you know not you know su succeed but not really succeed if you get what i mean right because they're succeeding because they get to essentially live a pretty cushy lifestyle by just sitting at home and streaming all day but they're essentially a prisoner to their quote-unquote own success because they can't figure out a way to get out of it and, and there's no real option out there that exists because they spend the last what 10 plus years working from home streaming so they've got huge gaps in their bits of employment and generally they're not the most um well-adjusted people that you would want to have you know reintroduced back into the working space anyway in general so you know it's probably all the better in that regard and one of the two of the two pe two of the main people that i follow or that i check out bits of content from specifically detractor channels or channels that essentially are only existing to kind of make their life a living hell are wings of redemption and dark side feel two dudes who kind of occupy other ends of the low cow spectrum but essentially two guys who a lot of people clearly on the internet don't like wings of redemption from what i can gather people don't like him mostly because he's a bit of a cunt right for somebody he's a yeah, he's a bit of a mino which is a which is weird because he's incredibly fat right he's super super fat like obese to the point where if he was maybe a few more pounds overweight he would be you know deemed what's that word called you know when you're like so big you have to have a disability badge on your car and stuff and you have to you get craned into your vehicle and all that stuff he'd be there but obviously maybe he's been blessed with good genetics and he's quite tall and the weight maybe spreads out quite evenly on his body i'm not too sure here's a video of him saying this his weight only lands in the middle of his stomach when you know whatever but for the most part he's a strange one because he's a really mean fat guy right who's incredibly toxic online but also is incredibly sensitive he gets really um disheveled or put out when people say mean things to him it clearly affects him but he's also very whiny right he likes to complain and moan about his situation but doesn't really do anything to change it and for the most part from what i can gather people hate him because of that they also hate him because he had this episode where he was trying to raise money to get like a gastric bypass so that he could you know i guess lose some weight and he decided to beg his viewers and his fans for those donations his fans and and viewers at that time thought that he was wanting to make a big change in his life i think he had a really emotional stream where he basically broke down and said i need this or i'm gonna die essentially he said something along the kind of lines right and um, obviously people were kind and they decided, hey, if this guy really wants to change his life, what's a couple of dollars um, going to do? What's a couple of dollars? You know, it doesn't really, doesn't really hurt me to kind of help him out and raise this amount. They raised it. He ended up getting the surgery in, I think, Mexico or something like that, one of those countries. Um, it ended up being a success, but unfortunately he didn't follow through with the after plan. He then ended up still ballooning back up to the way he was previously. And a lot of people basically kind of hold it over his head because they feel as if like they were duped, as if they were scammed because they raised the money in the hopes that he would get the gastric bypass or that he would, you know, stop eating as much. But now essentially what he does is that he still eats the same amount, but he just spreads it out throughout the day because his stomach obviously has been shrunk to some extent. So he can't handle the same amount of food that he used to handle before. So now he just eats a lot, but just has to nibble which is flipping insane to see a guy online. And again, that's the other thing about Wings that's super bizarre. He spends all his time at home sleeping, doesn't really do much for the sounds of it. You know, he says he goes and does cars and oil changes stuff. But I think he says those kind of things as a way to kind of prove his manhood, as to prove he's still like, you know, um, a functioning adult in that regard and not somebody that just kind of is a bit of a shut in in the same way that um, Dark Side Phil is. But he spends his entire time at home like doesn't do completely anything else but then whenever he's on stream he has happens to be when he's on stream that's when he decides to be hungry and that's when he decides to kind of eat into a microphone which is one of the biggest pet fees i've always had with podcasts right people that eat and chew directly into a mic it's just like oh it makes my skin crawl which is again another part of his low column then on the other side of things you've got dark side feel right um phil brunel who is um probably one of my most hated guys or somebody that i generally like i see his face it just makes me angry his fucking whiny voice it just pisses me off because i think he does everything that i think as a man you shouldn't do right is that beg and plead for people to give you donations in order for you to kind of um, sustain your life not work for your own 
kind of you know not basically not willing to put in a hard days on his graft in order for him to enjoy the things he wants to enjoy he just wants people to pay him money like he's so entitled things that i would never do right asking people for money doing all this sort of nonsense like promises been broken just an insane level but anyway that's what it feels another online streamer i don't think they're similar ages i think maybe does i feel might be a little bit older but essentially people hate him because he begs online all the time uh, because he basically feigns or the thing in the beginning he used to do that a lot where he used to kind of give the impression that his house was going to get repossessed or something along those kind of lines he had to move out he had to sell his house so now we have to raise this amount in order to save the house um he'd be moaning about not being able to buy games and this is also you have to imagine for dark side phil he was a streamer on twitch before from what i can understand when you're on twitch you get subs right and with subs on similar to like memberships on youtube with subs on twitch they pay like a monthly fee basically to be a subscriber on your channel which doesn't include what they give you in tips and bits and stuff it's just like a fee that they give and at one point Phil I think at his height had like 900 subs on Twitch right I think the last time I saw a clip or somewhere around I think he kind of hovered around 700 600 after that but still with about 900 if I'm not mistaken and with it being let's say let's say kind of reasonable figure it probably was more it probably was five dollars right but let's say he had 800 right let's go here let's see so he had 3.99 times 800 subs alone and he made like three thousand, right just on those subs alone not including the tips and i guess on tips he was asking for a hundred dollars a day <laughs> right a hundred dollars a day no a hundred dollars per stream sorry because he does two streams he does a stream in the morning a stream in the evening so yeah two hundred dollars per two streams that's two hundred dollars per day he streams six days per week he takes off one day so that's 200 times six oh, sorry 200 times six that's 1200 times that by four roughly that's four thousand plus the three two five whatever that was that's nearly ten grand it was eight grand right just say eight thousand dollars or something along that kind of lines he was making just on you know people let's say tipping well throughout the week and also the subs so you'd make let's say average you may be around at seven or eight whatever it may be and that still wasn't enough he'd still beg for more you still ask for this dogs for that um somehow he managed to find a wife during that whole period and again that's the other thing too they're both married one guy is like insanely obese and incredibly you know hard to look at the other one is incredibly hard to look at it's like a melted candle and has this really annoying voice and still hadn't up someone to marry him it's just maybe further proof that you know <laughs> women's taste in men is just something that you can never really wrap your head around obviously in terms of security and safety and ability to raise a family or look after them in general it makes sense because they both are making well i guess at phil's height he was making 100 grand a year um you know wings in with these begging was maybe making 50 60 i'm not too sure but still you know high percentile in terms of where they're what their earning rates are but it's just what i was thinking here this is the point i've raised it i'm thinking as a woman right imagine again i'm not a woman clearly but i wonder who's the more who's somebody yeah what would you settle for more dark side feel or wings because deep down you have to know and realize that you know your dude is basically sitting at home all day whilst you're at work because again both of their both of these streamers i'm talking about both of his, both of their partners both of their wives still work i think both of their wives still work part-time or something i don't know why that is because you know you would imagine with that amount of income nearly 10 grand per month even if you're living in a really expensive place you could figure out a way an option to retire your partner with some sort of plan in place right whether or not they pick up the merch side whether or not they do your bookings there could be something that you could do where you could kind of figure out a way to kind of slowly but surely get to a point where you're both not working you're able to support your the entire household off of the stream which is an incredible privilege but they both don't do it so i was just thinking as a woman what would you put up with more wings of redemption or dsp and I'm going to play two clips for you just to kind of give an illustration on who these guys are. And these clips are amazing. The first clip is Wings of Redemption and it's titled Wings of Redemption doesn't care about his sixth wife, gets trolled, grow up and deal with it. Essentially, this new arc that's appearing now is that allegedly um, Wings of Redemption's wife had some issues with thyroids or something to do with cancer prior. And she obviously um, was able to get over that and, and, and was able to come out of it the other side. But supposedly a lump or something has been spotted by a doctor recently. And she's obviously clearly worried, which she, you know, which is she should be right. 
right? Um, has every reason to be, especially when you consider what she's been through. And for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to elicit the reaction you would think it would react. It, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't seem to elicit the reaction you'd think it would from her husband. Um, he doesn't seem to really care that much. He's kind of telling her to just relax, like she's just, you know, it's like an anxiety attack. It's okay, or you're just panic attacking over, or you're panicking over and nothing. And this video kind of illustrates again like another it's kind of a good illustration representation of what he's like as a human being where he's more worried about streaming but then he's always crying and complaining about streaming because he feels like everyone's being mean to him but then his wife who's clearly in need and needs some some emotional support and maybe a you know just him as a gesture turning off the stream and just sitting down with her and kind of comforting her he decides to do this so just listen to this and then we'll go on to dsp danny bay talking about that fucking younger than 12 shit either again i don't advocate Underage sex. <laughs> well, I think the same stream. So get those people out of there. That 62 IQ thing might be true because I've never seen someone that gets baited so easily into saying some wild shit on your stream. Why would you even say that? Like, what does this even mean? Like, why why would somebody even think you did advocate for that sort of stuff? It just opens up so many unnecessary doors. No pun intended. Why do I watch so many troll videos on YouTube? I mean, generally, it's to show my wife what the trolls are saying. What do Kelly's farts smell like? Like everybody else's farts on the planet? What you mad at me for? His wife coming in into the room. What is She's this out of shot. for a tele unlimited UAV? What is that? I don't think you're taking my doctor's appointment seriously enough. Who the hell is with the Wendy's? What do you mean? I'm really scared about it. I don't even know what this muffler is. You haven't got bad news yet. There's no reason to worry about it it's bad news. You worry about everything else. Exactly. He's he's responding to her as if she's like worried that a job a job interview that she went to that she really liked, she got good vibes from, hasn't sent her an update or let her know what her status is and where she's in the process or if she got it or not. That's how he's acting. As if like, oh, but they told me they were going to call me on Wednesday. It's now Friday. And it's like, yeah, you know, you know, don't worry about it. You know, don't worry. Maybe they've got stuff, you know, they're tied up with things and they'll call you later. Blah, 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 blah. That's, you know, that's kind of the response that you'd expect from that. Not from somebody that's clearly worried, again, for a woman especially, um, who's clearly worried about something that they've suffered from previously. Um, you know, unsure, just, you know, full of just different conflicting emotions, comes back home from work, sees you sitting in your sofa, sitting, you sitting in your chair, streaming online, talking to your friends online, divulging things about me that I don't want you to divulge about my farts and shit, all that sort of stuff. And here you are saying, it's okay, don't worry. It's nothing to panic about. What? Grow up and deal with it. Grow up and deal with it. It's going to be okay. We'll deal with it. And turns away. Back to stream. Tell her everything's gonna be okay. Like, yeah, she's stressed no, out no. about. She has to have a CT scan. And she's hey, stressed. What the fuck? What the fuck are these people saying about UAV's wife? There's somebody underneath you, Skate. He's completely turned off anyway. He's completely switched off. He doesn't really necessarily care about his base. That's interesting, right? She's getting stressed out about a CT scan. Of course, wouldn't any woman get stressed out by a CT scan? Wouldn't any guy get stressed out by a CT scan? Especially if you go for a minor checkup and you get told that you have some lump after you just recovered from cancer previously. Of course, you're going to be nervous and you want some emotional support, especially from your spouse. But, you know, again, so who's your candidate? Wings of Redemption as a great husband to be, or will it be DSP? And this is a video courtesy of Memology, who used to make some great DSP co uh, detractor content. It's a shame he kind of moved on to Pasha's new, but it is what it is. And this is it about DSP's gross e begging hits a new low. And this is kind of a, a, a kind of a snapshot into how Darkside Phil earns his living online, right? Um, it's gross. It's disgusting. It's kind of lacking in dignity. Um, in all sorts it kind of goes against everything I stand for as a guy and it makes me incredibly angry but it's also ridiculously funny that he has ink fans that legitimately think that he needs more than 10 grand per month in order just to survive and scrape by it's just wild but yeah let's just watch this video quickly let's put it up to the start and then I'll show you what I mean 
on the screen it says weeks ago dogs i feel created the vest streak a gimmick where he would put on a stupid vest each time the tips or goal was reached <clears throat> wow look how happy he is people are tipping money to wear a tip to wear a vest tips. Ladies and gentlemen, I promised it. I said if we hit the tips goal, I would put the vest on. This is the quick. And you have to also remember, during this vest goal time, this is when, this is the, the, the freaking, the thing that I never understand about Dark Side Phil. He's always got money issues. It's never enough, the money that he gets given. But during the Twitch times, he was still begging for tips, even though he was getting a base, which we, which we kind of caricated over there. He was getting a base income of at least anywhere between three to $5,000 or $6,000 per month. Let's say three to six. He was getting a base of. And anything else on top was a bonus. But he was acting as if that base wasn't enough and the bonus was necessary. And you know why he said the bonus was necessary? Because those tips that he got were stuff that he could use immediately to bills, right? But it's stuff that he could basically um, take right now to use. Whereas the the base level pay he was getting from Twitch was something that happened every the end of the month or the middle of the month, but it was a particular day. Whereas with the tips, he can extract them every single day. So he made it seem as if he was in dire straits when he clearly wasn't. And then now switch on when he got eventually kicked off of Twitch, rightfully, he's now on YouTube and he's doing the exact same thing. But now he's good, definitely admitting that he was making far more money on Twitch, but then he's acting as if he never used to beg on there also. It's just a horrible existence. And this whole gimmick with the best was just a crazy time to be alive. Quickest I've ever put the vest on in the past few weeks since I've been doing this. I gotta get the vest. Hold on. Vest pick? What are you talking about? Vest emote? Vest pick? Move the mic. There. Okay. We'll do this, okay? And then also, we'll do that. That way, if you don't want it with. There's oh, no head there. You're balding. There, because people want to make a vest emo. What an oddly so built go. man, isn't it? He's got like the most chicken arms You're right, I've ever I am seen. Stressed. I'm, sitting here, I'm sitting in the office that's about 85 to 90 degrees with a vest on. I'm sweating profusely as I'm trying to play a game. First of all, I have to move, but second of all, it's vest time. Let me get it. <clears throat> all right. This is him playing a game and getting fetching his oh. vest now. As he gets killed on whatever Call of Duty. I want to get the vest and I get killed, of course. I'm ready to game, bro. Who's ready? Come anyway, that gives you an example of it. But I'm just wondering, for the women out there, who would you choose for a mate? Dark side Phil, right? This guy who's ready to game, bro, with this stupid vest gimmick, who goes online and begs for tips from people every single day, right? Or the eternal fat man in in wings of redemption who you know despite feeling as if streaming his you know disastrous he's having disastrous consequences on his mental health and it's driving him to the point of depression still refuses to quit and just get a normal job and do away with the internet who is the best partner i'd love to know in the comments down below let me know what you think